Good morning, I thought it would be fun to create a gingerbread man. Since we're close to Christmas, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to figure out where his head is. We're gonna draw his head first. His head is not a complete circle. We're gonna start here and we're gonna loop around and then we're gonna do his arms. They're kind of round. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna do his body. There's two lines on each side and then we're gonna do his legs. We're gonna pull the legs down and pull them back around. Pull his legs down, pull them back around and then we're gonna pull it up and there's his legs. And now we're gonna go in and let's see, he's gotta have eyes so you can see where he's going. And how about a big smile? Whoop! <laughs> and let's see, I'm thinking maybe a bow tie. You start out with a square, and then you're gonna draw a line, a curved line up and down and back to the square. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And let's put a hat on him. So let's see, the hat is gonna go, we're gonna do a line that goes up like this. This is gonna be a Santa's hat. And then pull it over like this, and then back down. And we have like a little place so it looks like it's sitting on his head. Then we're gonna do the top of it. We're gonna curve it out and back around. And add a puffy looking ball on top. Kind of like that. This kind of needed to go out a little. Oh well, that's okay. All right, then we're gonna go in and decorate. I wanna decorate with color instead of with the black marker, but something I do wanna put on there, as I thought for his buttons, we would actually make some mints. Round peppermint candies to decorate the front of his outfit. So there's a circle, and then we're gonna do another circle on the outside. And then we're gonna go in with our red marker and put stripes in the buttons. And they're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna make them mints. And then we're gonna color every other, every other section. So it's gonna be red, white, and then red, white, red, and if we need an extra one, we need another one. So it's red and white all the way around. It looks like a round peppermint candies. Don't miss another video. Subscribe today. So every other section is going to be red and white. All right. So now what else do we want to put on him? I think I want to make him have red cheeks and his Santa hat's got to be red. So we're going to go on and color the Santa hat red. And then I want to go in and add green. I think I'll make him have a green bow, green bow tie. And maybe some green candy decoration here. Hmm, and maybe some down here, some wavy lines. Wavy lines that look like icing. Let's see, what else can we do to him? Let's see, what else would be good? I just think he needs more decoration. Let's see, let's do red stripes out here on both sides, maybe two, there you go. Ooh, that's better. And maybe we'll do stripes down here. I think I'm gonna make the stripes a little thicker on his legs than I did on his arms. All right, 
The next step is to go in and to color him um, a color that looks like gingerbread. Now, so I usually have a, a piece of paper so then I can get markers and kind of figure out, is that a good color for gingerbread or should it be a little darker? I don't think I, sh I want it darker. I think that's a good color. Uh, let's see. Or do I want it to be this color? Ooh, that's a lot darker. Mm. So I don't know if I'm going to run out of ink, but let's see if I do it this color. This is going to be our gingerbread man. Now when you're coloring around um, the reds and the greens, you got to make sure not to overlap. Be really careful. You can overlap the black. The last thing we're going to do is go in with a darker color. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Let's see, not that one. And kind of give it some... Ooh, that's really dark. Mm. Wow, all I have is really dark. Um, I just thought it would be good to go in and maybe put some dark colors around to give it some depth. If you put a darker color on the edges, it makes it look like it's a shadow, which makes it look three-dimensional, just like a cookie. Just like this. Maybe we'll do the red. We can go in and put in the dark red up here. 